Somalia introduces new bill that would allow child marriage. Uh, an outcry is rising in Eastern African country, Somalia, as its parliament considers a bill that would allow child marriage once a girl's reproductive organs mature. The bill would even allow forced marriage so long as the family gives their consent. The United Nations Special Representative on Intimate Violence and Conflict, Pramila Paten, said that the bill would, quote, represent a major setback in the fight against sexual misdemeanor in Somalia and across the globe, end quote. She added that the bill also weakens the protections of victims of assault in the country, where already more than 45 percent of young women are married or in a union before the age of 18. Uh, Let's be fair. This is because of Islam, right? And in its influence in politics, I would reckon so. But wait, can you pull out, pull up the Facebook page? Because I need to cuss out someone in the comments. Okay. Shoot. I don't know. It's not coming up on yours. Look for a comment from Todd Morrison. Or I can read it out loud because I have it in front of me. Okay. Yes. Okay, so Todd Morrison is saying, sounds pretty effed up, but 100% against another country forcing their lifestyle slash belief system on another country. Regardless of the example, just be thankful it isn't the country you live in. Todd, get your head out of your fucking ass, okay? Uh, you, this is the hill you're going to die on. This is the hill you're going to die on, child marriage. You're going to say, oh, yeah, I, re I really shouldn't have a say on if w gr young girls, children, should be forced into marriage by their family members as soon as they have their fucking period. Have you no, have you no heart? Where, where are your priorities? What the fuck is wrong with you? Um, if, if you, I'm assuming you dislike pedophilia, I would hope you do, or child molestation. So why is it suddenly fine if it's happening in a different country? This is why cultural relativism, relativism will rot your brain. It will rot your brain and destroy your priorities. So just because it's happening over there, it's fine. It's fine. Like those people don't deserve rights. Like those people don't deserve to be protected the same way that you would want your own. Maybe you have a daughter. Maybe you don't. The young girl living next door to you. It, it's 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 not okay if it's in your country if it's in your neighborhood but it's okay if it's over there because you think so little of those people what that's what i want to i want to pick yeah. back on that i think that cultural relativism is disguised bigotry so it's okay for them because pff, that's just how they do and i think it's a horrible thing to say about people that somehow they don't deserve or aren't capable of the same freedom or the same human rights or the same, you know, respect or dignity that other people deserve or that your country or people in your country deserve. I think it's a terrible, awful thing to say about a group of people that somehow, for whatever reason, your own prejudice, your your, you know, wokeism, whatever, that somehow they don't deserve that because of cultural relevance. Really, it's disguised bigotry. You may, you could say, you know what, I'm not as interested in this as I am in something else. That's fair. You know, or I have my focused activism. But to dismiss it and say, well, that's just what they do over there because maybe they're savages or they don't know any better is really patronizing and dehumanizing. And I think it's disguised bigotry. Yeah, we're, uh, we're forcing our beliefs on another country because our beliefs are human rights. And, and that's just not within their culture. Human rights are just, it's just not within their culture. Like, what the hell? I think I mean, I think, to I say think so. Go ahead. Yeah, I think it's bigotry of low expectations because it's like, Oh, we have become more civilized, so we can follow this. But then they are not uh, to that point yet. They cannot understand. They cannot be as civilized as, uh, as us. So let them be, and they can do whatever they want uh, until they stop. It's kind of bigotry of low expectations, I would say. 
I wanted to make another point and then Armix it. So also, like, you were talking about, oh, you know, human rights is for Westerners, that, that whole concept, which is crap, because there have been human rights activists and people calling for this for all over the world, forever, for all times. It's not a Western concept. But there's one thing I, I, I also wanted to say is that there are, in my mind, some things, no matter what, and maybe this is my opinion, and maybe not everybody shares it, but there's some things that are non-negotiable in this world if we want to live as a civilized world. Marrying children, having sex with children is one of them. Non-negotiable. You don't do it. There's no excuse, no cultural, no religion, nothing. You don't throw people off of buildings because you don't like who they have sex with. You don't kill people because you don't like how they pray. You don't murder people because you don't like the thoughts they think or the songs they think. Those things are non-negotiable. No matter what culture you're in, no matter what country you're from. And if that makes me some sort of cultural bigot and I'm saying that I think that these ideas are better, then okay. Because they are. You don't have sex with children. You do not marry children. Full stop. I, uh, I actually, very, actually, very, this. Oh. No, actually, this. Uh, like Rivka mentioned, like there are some people who say human rights is like a Western thing and stuff. People in the West saying this stuff actually harms the countries which haven't developed yet because they often have a right wing government, and these people usually use the same thing. They say the same human rights is a Western concept, we should have our own culture. And as long as there's no opposition from external, uh, like outside countries from the West and other developed countries, these people won't change. And the people will keep being exploited for generations and generations. And this is just, this will be horrible. All right, so I'm going to read some member questions, um, member comments. Um, here, Chris is saying someone who uh, is not, no, no, that's a, that was from the previous news. I went. To, uh, Chris is saying, isn't Somalia a majority Muslim nation? Child marriage seems to be a big thing in, in that religion. Yeah, I, I think he has, in, Islam has an influence on in this law, obviously. Uh, Vincent is saying, Susanna going super Cyan, is that, yeah. Uh, AJ is saying, preach it to Susanna and also go Susanna. Daniel is our, another member is saying, Susanna for president. Uh, P is saying, Our Lady of Atheist Republic wields her thunderbolt. <laughs> um, but I do want to read also, hold on. Let me, oh, here's another mm -hmm. one. No, no, this is a, that was about something that happened within. Um, oh, no, here. Uh, Chris is saying Todd's comment reminds me of the crap I hear from modern Western feminists cries about not having enough women in STEM fields or having to pay a couple of dollars for a bottle of shampoo. I mean, um, here's the thing. I do think that you're, you're, the issue that you're complaining about doesn't have to be the world's biggest issue for you to be able to complain about. Uh, as long as you're not throwing the other people with bigger problems under the bus, I think it's fair to to highlight smaller problems sometimes. I do want to respond. Some people on Facebook responded to Todd. Guy saying, so to, to when Todd said, like, you know, uh, just be great. Don't change uh, values in other countries. Um, you know, don't impose your values on them. Guy, guy responded by saying, I like, I'd like people from other countries to fight for my rights as well if we had shitty laws. This is this isn't just a weird law that doesn't necessarily impact anyone. This impacts children who are forced to marry someone. Yeah, if I live in a country that uh, and the government is imposing unfair laws to us and we can't do anything about it, I hope somebody actually comes and helps us out, like from outside. Right? I agree with that. Martin Martin saying so. You are pro pedophilia as long as it's in a different country to yours. Seriously. Uh, guys, I do suggest calling this child molestation, uh, child molestation, and not pedophilia. It's child molestation. Yeah, pedophilia is a mental disorder. Child molestation is the action. Um, Deborah is saying, "Love you guys with six ninety nine Canadian dollars. Thank you so much. I appreciate that." Six point nine. 
Nice. Thanks. No. <laughs> go. I love Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. Everyone, you should yeah, go check you. out the interview that Armin and I did with Debbie, where she talks about being an ex Mennonite Christian, and she was an ex Muslim convert and part of his avatar here. I know I just butchered that, but if you want to hear about her experience as basically being in an Islamist fundamentalist cult, go check that out. His but Tahrir, she was in him. Yeah, guys, we're getting off track, but yes, go check that out. I, I do want to. I do want to respond to something uh, somebody Douglas said on Facebook. Legit question: What is the actual point of local governments to include uh, nations if people from outside of given a given country consider things inside their their business? How do we decide where the line is and what is and isn't acceptable to cross boundaries? Okay, he, the boundary is very simple: human rights, right? Like, yeah, we still need local governments because we're not saying inter, uh, internationally people should get involved in like, hey, you have too many potholes on your roads or like, oh, we don't like how you're managing your school system. Oh, we don't ha like how you are, I don't know, dealing with your water supply. Uh, obviously, the, the line when other countries get involved is human rights because, you know, no government owns its own people. So if any government is mistreating its people, it should become the business of the entire world to save their fellow human beings. You cannot say like, you cannot say, these are my property. These are my people. Stay out of my business. I could do whatever I want with them. No, you can't do that. It's the same, it's the same line of reasoning. Like, oh, they're my children. I can beat them if they want. No, as soon as you start beating them, your children become other people's business as well. So that's, yeah. I'm going to say the line and the boundary is that if you're a citizen of that region or that area, then you're the one who votes and you're the one who makes those laws and elects people. But that doesn't stop people from anywhere else commenting or giving an opinion or saying something about it. There's the boundary. I can't vote in an election in Somalia. I can't you know, go maybe even go there and run for office. And maybe if I move there and I live there, for, you know, there may be those boundaries by the laws of what is allowed in that country in terms of getting involved in their business. He said, where's the boundary? That's the boundary, right? That's what well, I think. I mean, I think it's, you could go beyond just saying, calling it out. I think you could actually pressure the government as well by saying we don't treat you, we don't trade with you and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, okay, Chris is saying, if I'm, being, um, if I'm being completely honest, I truly believe anyone convinced of child molestation should get automatic. No. Uh, first of all, can you, again, can we call it... Um, Child, uh, yeah, okay, child, yeah, actually, you're using it right, never mind. They are completely in a, incurable and serve no purpose in our society. Um, okay, virtue, virtue, Chris is, Chris is against child molestation. Good to know, Chris. Good to know that you're clarifying that you're against child molestation. Uh, <laughs> wow, Ethan is a new member. Ethan was a member. What no, no, no. Uh, if you look on the YouTube chat, he upgraded his membership to Devil's Spawn. What? So thank you. Despite us just shitting on you, Ethan, we yes. love you. We keep telling we keep telling <laughs> Ethan why we disagree with him, and he just upgraded his membership. Wow, impressive! I'm gonna do this more often. I'm gonna keep attacking <laughs> us. everybody. Wow. Anybody who supports us financially, I'm gonna tell them why they're wrong about everything. Maybe it helps. Maybe people like them. No, but seriously, thank you, Ethan. I appreciate what that. What sort of financial uh, domination situation? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. All <laughs> All these, all these like members are really masochistic. No, okay, they, they we're going too far. We can't, don't kink shame people, okay? <laughs> kink shame, kink shaming is not tolerated on this platform. Oh my um, god! Michael Sherlock like is saying, "Armin beating your children analogy is perfect. Human rights must be baseless for acceptability." I'm only reading that because Michael is saying. Well, something I said is perfect, okay? It, well, I mean, he, that's true about everything I say, so that goes. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not... Telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that 
they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos 